Go. teach to young children, children with disabilities, children who just might have trouble with one of these topics, like today's show, Waiting. Waiting. Ha, ah, waiting is hard. Waiting is hard for all of us, uh, and especially the young ones. Um, uh, I, I, as we had in our puppet show today, waiting for a party, um, the kids have a hard time with that, and it, the story itself tells how to deal with it. So. Right, and one of the ways that you can use this puppet show is to take a few minutes and sit down with your kids and say, hey, I know a big, exciting 
event is coming up, your birthday is coming, that's a tricky one, isn't it? Or um, the holidays are coming, grandma's coming over, you're having a play date, all of those things are really, really hard and kids get super amped up and excited and then they become a pain in the neck <laughs> because they don't know how to control their feelings. So the two main ideas of the social story is one, how to control those feelings when even a positive feeling is getting out of control. I'm so excited for this, this event coming up. So we're, the puppets took control of their feelings, they did some deep breaths, and then they, they talked about waiting with kindness, maybe helping out around the house. You know when there's a big event coming up, like a holiday or a birthday party or a grandma's coming to town, there's a lot to do. You gotta, you gotta dust the tchotchkes in the living room. You gotta make sure things are presentable. You have enough food for everybody. So that's stressful on the adults. So adults have their own difficult way of waiting. I'm waiting for this, but I'm also preparing for it. Give your kids something to do. Give them a small task, something that makes them feel involved. One of my favorite um, storybooks is about a, a little boy waiting for Sunday dinner with his grandmother, and she gives him a task. She has him go wait, set the table. She has him toss a toss salad. salad. She has, you know, she gives him some things to do while he's waiting. Um, the puppets decided to go play a game. Right. You know, I'm going to go get my little brother and play a game, all of us, so that we're out from underneath the adults' feet right. if they don't need our help. So one of the ways to use this is just to show that this story to them and say, wasn't it silly how the puppets were acting? Look how they got their, themselves under control, and then they had a great time right. waiting. Um, waiting with kindness, it's ripped from the headlines. Right. Yeah. <laughs> it really is. Ripping the headlines. That's what I say when I come up with a story of something that's actually happened. Preschool classroom, one kid can't get his coat on. Just having a rough time. All the other kids have their coats on. They're ready to go outside and play. So they're super excited. It's an event that they look forward to. So they're bumping into each other. They're crashing. They're making nuisances out of themselves. This genius paraprofessional that I work with, she said, come let's all wait with kindness and she had the children sit down and talk about you know how it, sometimes it is tricky to put your coat on and it does take a long time and when we wait for a friend we show that we're being kind to them so that's another time you have to wait I know that I love kindness I love that genius yes. genius <laughs> Genius. I mean, Kim talks a lot about you know waiting. You have to wait to see your physician. Right. That can be tricky. Adults, yeah. Adults and kids. It, it's it's all of us. We all get tired oh, of waiting. Absolutely. And it's frustrating, and then the kids so are we, acting up. It's tough. It's so giving assigning a task for them to help you with. Help you with. That's great. Is a great yeah. thing. So. Yes. And the videos are great to watch with your child, and you can discuss the different um, social stories. Mm -hmm. And like in the stories, you want to keep it positive. You want to focus on the desired behavior. What do you want them to do? Um, we try to take the freaking out out of the conversation. Yes, it's reality, and it does happen, and, and we, we have the puppets freak out a lot. <laughs> it, because those, are, the, those feelings are real, and, and they're authentic child feelings. <laughs> Angry, anxious, you know. Absolutely. Tired of waiting. <laughs> <laughs> no, we, we all can identify with that. But, um, so keep it positive. Keep the dialogue positive. These are the things you can do. We're not going to talk about the things that you shouldn't do. We're going to talk about what you are capable of. You're capable of helping out. You're capable of, of going off and finding something else to do. Very important to keep it positive with kids. Right. Absolutely, and focus on what you want them to do rather than the the negative, because sometimes that might just become more enticing. Mm -hmm. Like yeah. I really would like to lay on the floor and and have a freak out sometimes, <laughs> but I don't because I've learned mm -hmm. it doesn't get you how to take it. <laughs> that that that's true too. It doesn't get you anywhere. But I've learned how to take control of my right. feelings, and that's something that every every kid, regardless of ability, can learn to do. We just have to be. Mm -hmm. Wait with kindness Wait with for kindness. them. Roberta, you may be able to speak to this. I know uh, my son's school, the special uh, a director there, was saying how much more kids with special needs heard the word no. Absolutely. 
where that's like tenfold like a typical kid. So being mindful of your words when you're talking to your special needs child and, and getting their behaviors to go in a more positive direction. Absolutely. Sometimes it's, it's just a matter of rephrasing. Instead of saying no running, we, I say we walk indoors. Mm -hmm. um, instead of saying no hitting, I'm saying we, we keep our hands to ourselves. Things like things like that because you're, t you're actually taking the undesired behavior out of the discussion mm -hmm. by telling them what you want them to do. So in instead of saying don't freak out, say hey go find something else to do. Right. How about I give you a job? Right. Something like that. And if they're resistant, say you know what, I, I need you to learn how to wait with kindness. I'm too often where we're, we fill our kids time with activities and we, we fill their time with screens and, um, you know, it, it just constant, constant activity. So they never learn that, that ability. It's okay to sit it's, still for a minute. That it's okay to be quiet for a minute. It's okay to go in my room and read a book or play with my toys or go get my little brother and play a game. Mm -hmm. those, are, those are desired activities, but sometimes in the hectic rush, rush, rush of the day, we'll say, here. Take my tablet. Right. Take my phone. You know, they come out of the womb knowing how to use your your phone. They do. Honestly, right. so they do. <laughs> you need to take that away, honestly, and have more active play and right. less screen time. Yeah. yeah, it's important for them to learn yeah. those life skills. Yeah, absolutely. I know I've dehaired my point. <laughs> it's falling apart. A lot of use. Pup puppet pattern baldness. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, we hope you enjoy our social stories, oh, and please. we have many more Tune on in, our, guys. our yeah. YouTube channel, so please like, share, and subscribe, and don't forget to hit the bell notification, so you'll be notified when there's new videos that come out. Give us some comments so we can yes, uh, develop and Please let us know. And... Let us know what you'd like to hear. Right. We're going to anxiously, because our, the idea, well, is getting, is getting thin. <laughs> um, <laughs> so let us know it's a topic that you'd like to hear yeah, about, a good. desired behavior that you'd like to focus on. All right, Thanks, everybody. Thank you. Peace. Sweet. All right, thank you, Berta. Okay. Again. Thank you. You are the brainchild of the social stories, yes, sister. I wouldn't do it if you didn't make me. <laughs> no, no, we didn't make you. <laughs>